Namaste, everybody. I hope everyone's having a great day today. I received another shipment and I wanted to share these pink beauties with you all. Some gorgeous pink moonstone, which I have never seen before until now. And when I saw these pieces up for sale, I had to grab them. I also have some smaller pink moonstone points. And these are all already listed in my Etsy shop, just in case you were wondering and you're curious in purchasing one. I know me as an avid pink, well not avid pink collector, but an avid crystal collector, this is something I would definitely want in my collection. And the, I have the letters to know which is which. There's a, well not a lot, but enough to get confused, so I need to develop a system to better keep everything organized. I don't know how many of you out there are familiar with Pink Moonstone. I'm not too familiar, but I'm guessing based on the color and having to do with the chakra system that pink is associated with the heart. So I'm guessing these would be good for any kind of heart centered chakra tuning in that area. Some beautiful shades of pink, some more pinkier than others, but all have like a pink tone to them, pink coloration. And I have several towers, obelisks, that stand up, like this one here, and also several double terminated pink moonstones. So, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. This one back here, another tower. People call it towers, I usually just call it an obelisk, maybe because I like the word better. But yeah, freestanding. And very, very new. I've only seen Pink Moonstone in maybe two other crystal shops online. So I'm glad to know I got first dibs on this new material being produced. So yeah, very gorgeous. And unlike like Rainbow Moonstone or the other Moonstone varieties that have kind of like a iridescent flash to them, kind of like a Labradorite, which even Labradorite, well, Rainbow Moonstone and Labradorite are related. Some call Rainbow Moonstone white Labradorite. I don't know how many of you out there knew that, but I just found that out not too long ago. Very, and I can see why. They kind of have similar flashes. And yeah. Oh, and as I was saying, um, Pink Moonstone is different in that it doesn't really have any flash. It's kind of just a, a solid color, flat color, with no real shimmer. You might get little specks of what looks like pyrite or some kind of metallic mineral in some of these. I don't know exactly what kind of mineral it is because again I'm not too familiar with pink moonstone and its properties but yeah I'm guessing it's a type of feldspar since it's a moonstone and so based on that little bit of knowledge I have I'm guessing that it's in the feldspar family but I don't know all the minerals this could be um, smoky quartz some of this darker looking material within the pink moonstone points but I'm not 100 on that, so don't take my word for that. But I'm just guessing. Because I know Smoky Quartz is also included in like Rainbow Moonstone and a few other feldspars like uh, Zebradrite and what's another one? I think that's about it. I can think of right off the top of my head. But yeah, again, Pink Moonstone. And this is just another little sneak peek to let you know what I have available in my Etsy shop. And I'm very proud to be the proud owner of these pink moonstones, which not every Etsy, well actually, I think only one other Etsy shop has one, has these in their Etsy shop, but they're much bigger towers. Mine are slightly smaller, and the points I got were from mainly for like jewelry making or maybe grid making, but yeah, again, pink moonstone, a lovely addition to any crystal collection or crystal enthusiasts, and also for those of you who are fans of anything pink you might want to add this to your collection. Beautiful. And as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a beautiful day today. And remember to spread nothing but love, peace, and crystals. Take care, everybody.